Hi, my name is Mike, and it's likely you've tuned in because this video is about doing a low beam headlight on a 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. The 2017 Pathfinder uses Sylvania bulbs. You go to the auto parts store, which is where I got these, and you'll see that the H11 is the correct bulb for the 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. Now these come in a number of versions. You get the basic and then a number of levels up. I've chosen the Ultra for this application. So I'm going to replace the bulbs that are in there with the Silver Star Ultra. Costs a little bit more money, it's supposed to be a better bulb. So with the hood up, let's go take a look at find that low beam light. When you're looking at your headlights on the 2017, your high beam bulb is down here and your low beam bulb is the bulb over here. Now when you look at these for the first time, you might think, oh my god, how am I going to get this thing out of the way. Well, don't make that mistake. This thing should never be moved. You're going to find this low beam right underneath this panel right here. We're going to come around the side. This is going to be tough to see, but right here is your low beam bulb. And that unit it's simply going to twist counterclockwise and out she comes. That's it. There's your bulb. So we're going to take that out and we're going to replace that with the new one we just bought. This is the old one that I have taken out. You can see that that has a bit of a plug kind of a design to it. And the new one here, which looks the same same design. You can see that this has a blue band around it. This has kind of a reddish, orange, whatever color band. That seal right there is a different color. The different versions of these lights, the different levels of light have a different color on this band. Now these come in pairs when you buy them. Only one light is out, but I'm going to replace both anyway. Why? Well, because I've got two new ones, and why should I let this kick around where it's going to get possibly damaged or accidentally broken? I might as well put it in the car. And since I did go with a different quality in the light, I want them to both look the same. So I'm going to replace both of these bulbs, even though only one is gone. So let's take a look at what that was plugged into. We go over here, and you remember. We just twisted that counterclockwise and it came out of the socket. Well, this has a little tab on it right here, and you kind of pull back on that tab in order to release the bulb from that socket. Now, we're going to orient the new bulb accordingly because you can see that there is definitely a right way and a wrong way to put that in. We're going to place it into this housing correctly and make sure that this tab lines up with the catch that's going to keep it in place. And you see a little slot here. We're going to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Put it in place and then put it back in that socket and turn it a little bit to the clockwise position and that should lock it right in place. The other choice you can make is because you now know that there's a tab on here, there's a little piece of plastic you're going to pull, you're going to pull it back away from this light housing in order to release this tab and pop it down. You can release and disconnect before you remove this from the socket. That will make it easier to get this out and it will make it easier to get the new one in. Here's a helpful hint, tip, suggestion, whatever you'd like to call it. Getting that positioned properly in the socket might take you a second to get these little tabs in the right place. And then you're going to twist it to the clockwise in order to lock it in. So this on the, uh, on the passenger side of the vehicle, 
goes into the socket at just about the four, five o'clock position. So that kind of just jiggle that in there with this pointing at about four or five o'clock and it should go in and then you can turn it to the clockwise and when it's in properly, that should be pointing straight down. It should be at the six o'clock position. Here are the bulbs side by side. Here is the one that I'm removing, and here is the one I'm putting in. Now, when you look at this, you can clearly see the catch here for the tab, and we want to make sure that that is positioned properly so the catch in there locks that in place, and you can also see that little piece down inside, and that is slotted, so that's going to go into that slot that I showed you in the, in the housing that catches this uh, on the other side of the connection, whatever they call it. I'm sure they have a name for it. I just don't know what you call it. But there it is, right there. All right, so let's put that in. There are the two lights that were in the low beam sockets, and they're out. I've put the two new ones in, and now let's turn on the lights and see if they work. At the same time, this would be a great time to check the high beams and make sure they work also. Okay, so I have two low beam lights that work correctly. Let's turn on the high beam. And there it is. Low beams, high beams, both working. And the auto shut off just turned them off, which is really helpful to not kill your battery. Not so much. When you're trying to test your lights, how are you supposed to test them when the auto shut off is turning them off? Well, I guess I could start the car and turn them on and then they would run like forever until I run out of gas. But oh, what the heck, I didn't. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you put in some lights in your vehicle. And it's really simple to do. Good luck. Have a wonderful day.